Hello YouTube and welcome to the first We Run Radar tutorial. In this tutorial I'll be showing you how to make a Game Battles logo such as this one. Pretty simple. And um, let's get started. First of all, file new 300 by 200 because the size of uh, Game Battles logos. You're going to want to go to your grading tool and select a red to a black. And then uh, make sure it's set on FG to B, uh, G. And then go about halfway up your uh, image and stroke up so you'll get something like that. And then uh, go to the Layers tab. If you don't have the Layers tab, click on this little arrow right here. Click on Add Tab and click on Layers. And then you'll have um, this Layers tab. I'll be using it a lot, so you probably want to do that. Uh, add a new layer and go to, the, go to your uh, text and go to uh, the text diffuse bold uh, I'll put the link to download it in the description it's um it's at uh, defont.com really good f uh, we run radar make sure it uh, make sure the text is white uh, put it you know generally in the middle and then go to this uh, uh, text layer, right click it, layer to image size, and then duplicate it. On the top layer, rotate it, click the rotate tool, click, and then drag this all the way to the right to rotate it 180 degrees, click rotate, and then go to the flip tool, click, and then you'll that'll flip it over. And then um, get the move tool, uh, put move the active layer, and then uh, you can drag it down just under the uh, just under the other one, and then uh, right click layer to image size on that layer, and then right click one more time and alpha to selection. Go back to the gradient tool. I have that red that original selected, and um, go to the gradient and make it FG to transparent. And then what you're gonna do is uh, stroke uh, straight up again. Uh, that was too much. Control Z if you want to undo thing. Strokes straight up, uh, and just we're just trying to make the bottoms of this red. Uh, select none to get rid of the selection, and uh, it kind of looks like it's fading. That's what we we're going for. Now for the crown, make a new layer. Uh, go to brushes, and uh, find the uh, find the crown brush. All the brush names will be in the uh, description also. Uh, set the brush about 23. That's good for me. Uh, make sure it's set on black and just click. Go to that layer, right click, alpha to to uh, oh excuse me, I had the hiccups. Alpha to selection. Uh, rotate it just a little bit so it's on an angle. And then you'll have this flow transformation. Uh, to make that into a layer, click new layer. And then you can get rid of that old uh, new layer that doesn't have anything on it. And then the transformation is what has the crown on it. Uh, move that to where you want it. I want mine uh, right about there. That looks good. Uh, and then to make it blurry, right click on that layer. Layer to image size. And then filters. Blur. Gaussian blur. And then we're going to blur it by 4. That's the preview. That's what it's going to look like. Uh, okay, and then now we have that blurred crown. Uh, to add the um, MP5 now, we go make a new layer, brush. Cool. Uh, set it on white. And um, find the MP5 brush. This brush is called submachinegun.abr. Dash zero zero five. Uh, all, again, our names will be in the description. Uh, click it about you know several times to get um, to get it all white, and then go to uh, the smoke brush set on size twenty three. That was the same with the MP five brush. Oh no no no! Actually, set the smoke brush on about fourteen. Yeah, and then uh, click it three times to make uh, make the smoke uh, a little darker. Now we have to add the um, the words to it. So go to your uh, text select tool, go down to the font Luna Bar, which uh, can also be downloaded off to font.com. Uh, size twenty 
four. It's about good for me. Uh, let's see. We we win. Uh, let's see. What else do I want to say? You dispute. Now, if you play um, if you uh, play game battles, which is what you know these logos are for, you'll obviously know what I mean. Um, if you don't, you know, sorry. Uh, select the text tool again. Uh, click again and write. You know the drill. Uh, position that where you want it looks good. And uh, now for the final thing, uh, text tool again. Set it on black. Set the font size. Oh, you have to make a yeah, click first. Of course. My uh, this is for your um logo name, like in the corner of logos. How people always have their names. And that you know. They're the person who made it. Well, you should add one too, because that's what everyone has on game battles. Mine happens to be TRBGFX. Uh, make that a little smaller. And um, put it in the corner. That looks pretty good. And that's how you make a pretty good looking uh, logo, if you ask me. And then now to save this, go to File, Save As. Uh, save it in my pictures, um, save it as a, oh no, select file type, save as a JPEG image, and then, you know, make say whatever you want, I'll make mine say, we run jpeg and save, and, uh, this will come up, click export, uh, go up to 100 because you want the best quality. Click save, and that's it. That's how you make a great looking uh, Game Battles logo on GIMP 2.6. Rate, comment, subscribe. If you like my videos, I will be making more. Uh, that's it. See you later.